Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Bravely Default. We're here, we're about to go to Anchime, so I think we're all good. Let's just head forward onto the map and go to the city in the desert. Let's see what we can make here. I'm hoping these guys have some good equipment. Oh, allies get first strike. Okay, whoa, that's a big thing. Okay, well, let's go ahead and um, make sure it doesn't get to attack. It looks slow. Um, probably Blizzard would probably be good upon it, right? Because it's a, you know, fire type. It's in the heat. Okay. But what I, what I, what was I even saying? Let's see, can we kill this thing in one turn? Okay. Weak point. Okay, so the weak point around this area is definitely Blizzard. But what I was saying is I hope this place has some good equipment because, um, I trained a lot last episode, or... In between last episode, so I want to get some good equipment. Apprehensive vessel by any means necessary. Seems the Council of Six is growing desperate. Those were their words. I've relayed them to you. My contract states I'm to receive payment for my troubles from you. Then your contract is mistaken. I've heard nothing as your sort. Ah, fine. You'll have your fee. But I am taking this small discount. Only fair as a regular customer, eh? If you must. Still, this Vestal is quite the little monster, no? Do you have this Sky Knight, so I'm done. If the margin is high enough, I would tackle a behemoth barehanded. But until I see a profit, I'll not move an inch. Business is business, yes? Fair enough. It's a man of his money. I love the themes in this game, though. Time and money. It's like the... I just... I think it's amazing. I just love the crap out of this game. I think it's just... They do so well introducing the characters. They do so well... The music, the places the themes it's just like mm, such a good game and china land of sand and time i never expected to find such a clockwork wonder in the middle of the desert yeah it's great but this heat oh, i feel gross the heat was always allayed by a steady breeze but now the wind has stopped and the air is stagnant what about the water is that contraption drying up drinking water i believe so i recall hearing it was quite costly last i was here well it's an impressive machine wait you mean the water Indeed, I was surprised to learn water came free in Caldisla. I had always known it was something to be boss. You can imagine my delight. More importantly, Agnes, what of the women here? Are they beautiful, passionate, devoted? Where would you suggest for a date spot? I'll need a list of good restaurants if you... Unacceptable. <laughs> okay. Moving on. We have the inn. A safe spot. Let's see. Let's go check out these places. Okay, so these guys sell high potions. Let's buy a couple of those. Nothing else new. Okay, what I'm looking for is this shop. Okay, this this is more more my style. Okay, so we're gonna need. And then. Okay, so definitely I two iron armors. Okay, and what would be good here? raises okay, so silk rope for Dia. And this for Ring a Bell. Okay, let's go to equipment. Let's just take care of this equipment. So long sword, long sword, iron helm, iron armor. Okay, next player. I'm gonna leave that in her hand. I guess we should probably give her a rod so we'll have to come back to that definitely the tricorn here and then we need the one that raises yes the silk robe and let's no oh, actually no let's give her the silence yes because we need her to definitely not get silenced okay blind is very important for on yes here and then for ring a bell I'm gonna go ahead and put the oaken pole and I don't know if that's any better, but I'm just going to maybe assume. Okay, so I was right. They do have some better stuff here. Um, I probably made a mistake. I probably should have saved some money. Let's see. Is there any new spells? 
Oh, there is new spells. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna sell the things that I unequipped because I need those spells. Sell this. Sell that. Sell that. Sell that. I'm gonna sell that. I'm gonna sell those. Sell those. Sell that. Let's see, I can sell those. I'm gonna sell. Okay, what it looks like I have to do is actually do it right here. I'm gonna buy these spells. too much. Okay, so that will. Pr I don't even know if I can use those here. I might have to come back with a different class. But I guess for now, the only ones we really need is these. I'm going to buy Arrow because I feel like magic will be useful in this next coming. So at least ring -a bell will be able to use that. Okay, let's go ahead and save. And I'm guessing... Oh, it costs us to sleep. It's nighttime, so I have to sleep to get on with the story if I'm not correct here. Party chat, okay. Cogs of Anchime. Just woke up and already tired, Tiz. It's a city. Notice how there are always gears turning somewhere close? Sure, the sound is deafening at times. Little wonder this place is known for its grand clock. The noise is bad, but the vibration is worse. I can't go to sleep without hum. I'm surprised you're so high strung. Surprised? I'm jealous of your ability to pass out any time, anywhere, Idea. Do you need a bit more rest, Tiz? Oh, no, I'll be fine. Let's, let's get going. Okay. Um, I'm not gonna save. Because I just saved. Weirdy went through the market. This guy here is gone. Okay. Well then, let's go to the one place everyone's Silence, at. One and all, your king, Camo the Eight, speaks. My people, I thank you for your tireless efforts. As you are well aware, our glorious nation's production has suffered a harsh fall since the wind's cessation brought the Grand Mill to a halt. Without nature's form of bounty, our turbines went completely still. They sit as silent as the desert night. In the wake of this crisis, you rose up and took matters literally in hand. Operating the turbines manually. I, your king, lack words to thank you for your hard work. However, I am much aggrieved to say that energy production is less than one-fifth its former total. At this rate, our proud kingdom, renowned for its unparalleled industry, is doomed to ineluctable decline. I find myself without recourse but to revisit my prior fiat regarding the schedule of all able-bodied citizens. Henceforth, labor shall commence at 0900 hours and will extend beyond the current 1659 until 2059, effective immediately. What? We're flesh and blood! We need rest! In so doing, turbine output is expected to rise to 30% of its former value before the wind cease output of... Your Majesty! Your Majesty! Brave news! What? The Vestal? <laughs> Be calm, my children. I know your pain all too well. My heart bleeds just as yours. But I ask that you join me in remembering the cause of our woes. The crystal orthodoxy and the vessel's indolence, therein lies the true cause of the wind's absence. And what has the Great Vestal done since the air went still? What did she do in the face of your suffering? She abandoned you, fled the country to save herself alone. In this, Ansheim's first and direst hour of need, the Vestal we loved and trusted is powerless or unwilling to help. Though it pains me deeply to tell you of these things, I cannot deny this simple truth. What resolution can be brought about to this terrible crisis? 
The crystal orthodoxy is not but a hollow creed. What result have years of worship at the altar of the crystal brought us? Once more I say it, it is by our own hands that we shall push this glorious kingdom ever forward. Onward to still greater glory. <laughs> there. Just now that leer. That was aimed at us. Seems that little speech was for your benefit, Agnes. It's slander is what it is. That creep's giving you no chance at all to defend yourself. <sighs> Agnes. Part of chat. An Agnes is angst. You see him on the edge during the whole speech. You don't have to bottle it, in, bottle it in. I'm no expert, but I'm happy to listen. I cannot deny that the people of Eincham are dissatisfied with my work as a Vestal. I have no intention of making excuses. But you didn't run away either. The king asked me directly. He said that terrible things were happening in Caldisla and, that, and asked that I investigate. Yet now he paints an entirely different picture. I cannot understand his need to lie. Does he bear me some grudge? Have I done him some slight? Do you regret listening to him in the first place? No, I do not regret any time in Caldisla. Seeing the chasm firsthand showed me precisely what it is I must do. <clears throat> and you met Tiz there too. That's... I, I'm glad you came and saw the chasm too. You've shown me a path forward. Blessed is the person who is needed by someone else. What are we talking about? Nothing. Then why are you hiding it? Come on, don't leave me out, I want to know. Unacceptable. To me? And to Tiz, right Tiz? Or er, yes. Okay. What are we doing here? Okay. So, we are needed in... Here. Can we check out the rest of this place before, though? If the wind is... We're whatever is Lady Vestal doing. What are, what are these places over here? The well is under management of the... Tamer and Profiteur Merchant Tree. I don't think we can do anything in here, but oh. Onyas oblige, vessel of wind. His Majesty bids. Okay, so we can't go anywhere until we go. Oh. Okay, apparently we can't do anything until we go see the king. Fair enough. I see you've returned, Vestal. Why then did you not come to me for an audience immediately? I was dreadfully worried, you know. I'd begun to think you'd fallen victim to some terrible accident. So, what of the Caldislan Castle? I fear it was worse even than your majesty had imagined. So tell me. Was it worse than the state of your own nation? Are you even aware of the situation here? The wind remains still. And the Grand Mill be called. I'm pleased to see you're not totally ignorant. The turbines that form the heart of this kingdom, the greatest symbols of her wisdom, now turn my hand. The hands of our citizens. Compulsory labor service. Our survival hinges now upon their sacrifice. And even that will not last forever. We need that mill turning again soon. Not by our citizens' hands, but by the wind. And whose job is it to see that the wind blows, if not the vessel? I can think of no other value you provide, save that. Anyway, will you now end the suffering your negligence has caused to this land? To its people? Or is that beyond your abilities? Perhaps you would sooner run again, turn away from the plight of your people. Uh, if that is all His Majesty wished to say, I'll be on my way. I haven't the time to waste here. What 
You can... I'll not be spoken to like this! Just whose fault do you think this mess is, girl? What a confused old man. That could have gone better. Not that I blame you for getting mad. Mad? I felt no anger. Only... fear. The king frightens me. His tone was far from pleasant. But he didn't seem dangerous. The people who had come to hear him speak frightened me the same. Everyone in this city... They see me only as the Vestal, not a human being. I don't know how to speak to them. Just thinking on it sets my legs to trembling. That explains the tense look you've worn since we've landed here. Personally, I felt amazing after that little conversation. Did you see his face? It was purple. I nearly laughed out loud. I tuned him out about halfway through his speech myself. I never did have much attention span for listening to men go on. Now women... In any case, we'd best hurry to the temple. It's all that I can do. Okay, that's where we go then. Um, Blue Martin, uh, head there to advance a sub-scenario. That is exactly what we'll do. So, what is this temple like exactly? I have no idea what to expect. Is it a holy place that has been the center of worship for millennia? To each, to each crystal is wed a Vestal who spends her lifetime in steady prayer. Vestalings, girls chosen as successors to the Vestals, go to live in the temples. They leave its premises only very rarely, and so to the Vestal, the temple is also a home. A flower garden with no boys allowed. Be quiet, ring a bell. So, you were inside the temple ever since you became a Vestaling? It was quite rare to leave, save for a few public rites each year. Does that mean you were all alone? Wasn't that hard? I was not alone, no. The Mother Vestal, my predecessor, raised me to serve in her place. And there were the Acolytes. They would go into town and purchase all we needed. But you left for this journey, I guess it's proof it's important. No, even so, I had never intended to leave the temple. Never intended any of this. Okay, so real quickly, I'm gonna check my phone. Okay, nothing important. We shall go to the blue mark because that is a sub-quest. That is where I want to go. I tried first. using a method and it just didn't really work that well. Okay, I guess over there is probably going to be our next part of the journey, so we'll go in here first. Ah, good day! I believe this is our first meeting, yes? Erutis Profiteer, Chairman of the Camel and Profiteer Merchantry, at your service. How kind of you to pay me this visit. Now, what is it you are needing today? We are the only purveyor of water licensed by the King himself, and we take pride in our product. No effort is spared in providing the cleanest, freshest water possible. The results are clear. <laughs> what are you, my yes? Ah, but I have lost the time again. I have appointments waiting, my friends. Let us speak again soon. Guard! Our honored guests are leaving. See they are seen out. Have a refreshing day! Okay, so he's clearly scamming the citizens out of water. Fair enough. Again, is it? And what is it you're needing today? Hmm? We are the only purveyor of water licensed by the king himself, and we take pride in our product. No effort is spared in providing the. Uh, uh, but I must ask you to forgive me. God! I'll have a refresh. Hmm. Okay. Wait, so, oh, that's what we have to do. Feeling parched. Can we stop for a drink of water? You, stop. 
This well is property of the Cameron Profiteur Merchantry. Unauthorized withdrawals are strictly prohibited. Ugh! Withdrawals? There are people out here going thirsty! No! There are peasants going thirsty. If you want a free drink so badly, go join the other rabble at the Oasis. Okay, so we just saw that little cutscene. Sorry, someone came in my room. Um, cool. Now, what do we do with that? That's the real question. Is it this way? I'm just going to guess. It's Oh, the Oasis is the blue spot, right? Okay, so this is where the Oasis is. Let's go here. <laughs> Help someone. What's wrong? Thieves! I... I've been robbed! What? They took my water, my pack, even the camel I rode in on. They took everything. That man from the merchant tree didn't say anything about this. He told me to come here, said it was safe. How am I supposed to survive? If I have to risk my life every time I need water! Try to stay calm. Do you know where these thieves are now? The, the, they're right behind you! Let's see. Two, four, six, maybe forty in all? That's quite the little band they've assembled. We'll take care of this, sir! You go ahead! Get out of here! Hey! Just what are you doing? Letting a good mark go? Our good mark, mind! We couldn't stand to watch you cowards just do as you pleased! You have to stop this! Drop everything you've stolen and leave this place at once! What's this, then? Who are they? I've got no word of this lot. Ah, leave it out, it's too hot for this. Change of plans, boys. We're done here. Wait! Leave the goods you stole! Not familiar with how thieving works, then? I'm cross enough already. And to heck with this thirst. The needles in my throat are driving me mad! I need a drink. This anger won't leave me till this thirst has. We're out, boys! Hey! I said wait! Stop, Diz. I feel the same, but there are too many. We can't take them head on. <laughs> okay. Okay, so... Can't... Okay, so we need to go to the other side. Okay, guys, we're going to end the episode off here. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like in the comments, watch the channel, and I'll see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye.